stroll for the garden at sunset. Consider this a garden tour. This is a path, believe it or not. Look at that. Echinacea. I use this in medicine, but I won't be making any this year because we're well stocked on echinacea tincture and tea. Alhamdulillah. Purple shiso. More echinacea. That's mint and echinacea. What a forest. Wheat grass, we leave that for the birds. See that? They'll come in and eat that in just a little bit. Uh oh, look what we got here. Stink bug. Got some beans growing up the post. I gotta reclaim half this garden. I was doing it uh, Sunday, two days ago. And I went to stand up and blacked out and hit my head on that tree. I had to call Charlie to help me up. I was on the ground. Conked my head. Three days later, I still have a headache. We just picked these. We gotta come out and pick them again. Ongoing thing. Four clocks in the pot are blooming. Peppers coming up in the combo garden. These are spoon tomatoes and where everything else is starting to end its productivity, they're just now coming in. And they were all uh, planted at the same time. I need to come in and weed whack this pathway. Kale's going strong. I feel some kale and collard greens coming on this week. Gonna cut the chard back and it'll come back. Well, here's some yellow tomatoes. Now this looks like it needs weeding, but it doesn't. It's things starting to come in. And these are false irises that are, I didn't realize that they closed up at night, but they evidently do. The bee balm is starting to pass. Already picked them, all I'm gonna pick. But let me show you here, we got a sleeping bee. The bumblebee asleep. We won't wake her up. They get her cranky if you wake them up. Well, so am I. I'll give them that. The hazelnuts are starting to form. That's a hazelnut. It'll be ready this fall. Almond tree's looking good. It's only two year old in the ground. While we're checking on cucumbers, this one was kind of, no, it's been overtaken by, overtaken by uh, morning glory. Y'all don't, don't plant morning glory anywhere in your yard. And hope that your neighbors don't because it takes over everything. Yeah, I need to come out, reclaim the garden, spend three days in bed because you conked your head and the garden goes to hell. Look at all these yellow pear tomatoes. I think our squash plant's probably about done. It's got some coming on. But you see, we get vine borers here in Georgia, and it's just like nothing you can do. You see that damage? Something in that stem eating it. This one we already pulled up. 
This is a melon plant. It's not doing well. We um we can't grow melons here to save our life. Well, there's one. We had a really nice melon coming one year, and uh, the dog pulled it off and ate it. Yeah, they'll grow well in, in the pots. By the time by the time they should be maturing, well here's one. I think this is the first cucumber we've gotten from this bush. The ones in back that went up the trellis that's over my head did a lot better. Another one coming there. Oh, I felt I felt one or two more under here. Oh, yeah, there's a few more there. They're just not ready. I'll show you. I'll show you where I fell. Now on Friday, I stepped on a nail in the chicken house, so I had to. I had to go uh, get a tetanus shot, and they told me to get off my feet for a couple of days. Okay, I'm going to stop that thought and show you what Morning Glory has done, and just just since Sunday, this was not all here. I swear to you that is a carpet of Morning Glory covering peppers and rosemary and charlie and i are going to have to come in here tomorrow and pull all that out anyway so i was on i'm on augmentin which is a pretty powerful antibiotic for the wound i received um from standing on the nail and i'm just amazed on just what Two days, three days of not coming out to the garden. What's happened? Hey, Brucey, the garden cat. He has something to say. What? Really? Why didn't you come protect the plants? That's your job, you know. You're the garden cat. Anyway, so I, I'm looking at this. I'll switch the video back around. He's still talking. This was parsley three days ago. It was green and standing up. Yes. And the sorrel was bushy. Now it's starting to say it's too darn hot. Anyway, so I was in this pepper patch. This is all Malabar spinach. It comes back every year. An extremely top tropical. You see that? That's Malabar spinach. Tropical plant that will reseed and come back every year, even through sub-zero temperatures. So you see what I was doing? I was going up the rows in between the peppers and tying them up. I picked about two pounds of young peppers that um, were falling off when I was breaking branches left and right. And I got here and uh, I got about right here and passed out when I stood up to go through up, up the next row. And there's one, two, three, four more rows. So I'm one, two, three, four. I'm halfway through. Um, anyway, I stood and, and turned around to, to go up between the next two sets. Next thing I know, I'm hitting my head on the tree and I ended up laying, ended up falling right here. 
I flattened this bush and I stood it right back up when I finally got up. But I fell right here and hit my head right there. Hit my head on the tree here. And I had to call Charlie on the cell phone and get him to come out and help me stand up. Here's a better sh shot of the Malabar spinach. We've got all it frozen canned, but this is what the rows in between the peppers look like. And I already showed you over there that's covered with the morning glory. Again, I, I can't say it enough. Do not plant morning glory. And we don't, but our neighbors did somewhere. But I've got all this to reclaim. Hopefully I'll feel better on Thursday to be able to do that. But that looks a lot better. That's the pepper plants. So when I get done with this, we should have a path in between all the peppers. Brucey, why don't you come out and weed for me, huh? Why don't you? It's your job. It's your job, isn't it? This tree's put on a lot of growth this year. Got to harvest the uh, mint again. This is some bling I put in the garden. It's in a pot. Look at the mullein or mullein silhouetted. I've got to come out and show you what to do with those blossoms when it's not quite so silhouetted. Got more peppers that I planted once I pulled up the the garlic. That are coming along in here. You do not belong. And of course, they're scotch bonnets. So this is July 11th. That was a quick walkthrough at sundown, which is when I tend to come out and do spot watering if I need it. But we've been having rain every single day. Um... Thanks for keeping me company. I still have a headache three days later from hitting my head. Hopefully it'll feel better soon. It's hard to garden when you feel like poop. Hmm? But produce waits for no man or no woman. And since Charlie works during the day, I only work a four hour shift. I try to come home and work. But uh, I have three wildlife babies with me right now. I have to feed every three hours. Uh, so everything's kind of topsy-turvy. But if I can save their lives and grow them out to be wild things, and I've served my purpose on the planet, I feel. <laughs> so, this has been Lisa at Our Georgia Suburban Homestead, and thank you for keeping me company. If you like what you're seeing, give me a thumbs up if you would, and um, Ask questions if you see something that uh, sparks your interest. And uh, Brucey and I will tell you, be well, we'll see you later.